All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So JP just got their data download for the upcoming hero celebration, and we can now take an official look at the brand new crossover category. And honestly guys, I think they did an amazing, amazing job with this one, okay? Because every single unit that you would have expected to be here is present. We have all the Heroes characters, all the Fusions characters, all the Xenoverse characters, all the, uh, what else, Fighters characters, a Raleigh crossover, and also a bunch of units that I wasn't really sure if they would make it, like the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta's, uh, they're also all here. So a really big category, lots of options for team building. You can easily make an all extreme team or all super team or a mix of the two and of course we have an amazing leader in fizz super saiyan 4 vegeto who gives key plus three hp attack and defense plus 170 percent and also we have super saiyan 4 bardock as a sub leader who gives i think it's key plus three hp attack and defense plus 120 percent but of course he's not awakened so once he awakens he's probably going to be a 150 percent across the board leader and uh, I'm just really happy, man, because as you guys know, Bandai doesn't have the best track record with making categories, at least recently. Like, we've had some really, really rough ones in the past couple of months, but they did not slack on this one. Okay, uh, this one was really well constructed, and I literally cannot think of a single unit that, you know, should have been here that they, they didn't include. I mean, you guys can tell me in the comments down below if you can think of one, but... Uh, yeah, we have all the Arale ones too. We have Sour Man. We have this guy whose name I forgot. Um, all the heroes guys, the free to play characters. And uh, as far as team building goes, like I said, you can build all extreme or all super, but you can also mix the two. And we have a ton of synergy between a lot of these units. Like the Super Saiyan 3s are going to work really well with each other. The Super Saiyan 4s obviously have some insane synergy, especially with Super Saiyan 4 Vegito supporting both grade 8 power as well as um, crossover and uh, uh, in terms of support units too we have some of the better support units in the game right we have the supreme kai of time who gives key plus three attack and defense plus 30 percent to all allies as well as an additional chance for like more attack and defense and we also have toas right all the toas the darkness toa right here the new uh what's she called again demon goddess toa i believe I've been calling her Genie Toa. I think that's also correct. I think her name, or like one of her names, is Genie Toa, but in, in the game, I think they went with uh, Demon Goddess Toa, right? So she's also an amazing extreme support. And uh, the Tech Toa, who recently got a token awakening on JP2, fantastic support unit. And um, oh, there's also Golden Cooler, who's not a bad support. Um, Pandel gives some attack as well, so yeah, good options for basically everything you would want for team building purposes. And while I wouldn't call this like one of the top tier categories in the game, like it's not in the same uh, league as you know Realm of Gods or Transformation Boost or Kamehameha, it's still gotta be in the top 10, maybe top 15 at worst. And uh, you know, for one of these, you know, categories that weren't really i don't know like i just didn't expect it to be that good maybe it was because i've been so jaded with like some of the other categories that we've been getting recently uh they really surprised me they they really really did and i can't wait to throw these super saiyan fours on there throw these super saiyan threes do an all extreme team with like some of these heroes guys like the uh, new dark mask king um black mask saiyan like those awakenings for the older heroes units are insane as well i'll talk about them in a future video but yeah they killed it with those awakenings too so um an all heroes team will be great all super saiyan fours or mostly super saiyan fours it's gonna be a uh, killer too because these super saiyan fours are crazy especially super saiyan four vegeto this guy has dokkan fest stats man like if you didn't see it at rainbow status he has 17,400 attack that is literally Dokkan Festival exclusive numbers, but he's not even a Dokkan Festival exclusive unit. And uh, the Gohan and Bardock and Broly, all amazing too. And um, man, I'm just really excited, man. I'm really excited. I'm really happy that they 
did this category justice. They they did the right thing. They included everybody that should have been here. And uh, this is going to be a really fun team to run. Okay, like I said, it's not going to be one of the best teams, but it's going to be one of the better teams. And is there anything else to add? I don't really think so, man. Those are pretty much my thoughts. Great job, Bandai. Keep doing this right here. Okay, this is how you build a category. And uh, that's pretty much it. By the way, if you guys are curious about when the um, new Heroes banner is dropping, it should it should be coming out in about 25 hours from the time, actually maybe less, maybe like 24 hours from the time this video drops. The exact time is 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on November 18th. And of course, your boy will be live as soon as that banner drops. We're gonna be doing a bunch of live summons, maybe going for the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito Rainbow. We'll have to see. I do have over a thousand stones right now, so I'm ready to go deep if I have to, but it really depends on whether or not they keep the banner the same as it was in the past. Because usually these heroes banners are guaranteed featured SSR for every multi. So if that's the case, then your chances of pulling one of these new units like Vegito or Gohan or Bardock is extremely, extremely high. But if because of the hype they decide to change it, then number one, that would really suck. That would be a really really bad move but uh, if that's the case then it's obviously going to be harder to pull them and um, i might have to be a little bit more conservative but at the very least i do want at least two dupes in my vegeto and one copy of everybody else and i saw a calculation actually on the subreddit where someone said that if you spent 200 stones on the banner you know granted it's a guaranteed feature ssr banner then you have a 52 percent chance to pull Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. So basically, um, if you do four multis, it's a coin flip chance for you to get at least one copy of the Vegito. So that's pretty good rates, in my opinion. And uh, of course, a bunch of these other heroes units will be on it. I'm not sure if all of them will be there, but at the very least, some of the most recent ones, like the Dark Mass King, or Black Mass Saiyan, or Super Mira, and uh, so on and so forth should be there. So. As far as value goes for a banner like this, um, it's actually pretty good because most of these heroes units are very, very strong units, right? So if you guys were a little bit hesitant about summoning, um, I don't think it's a bad idea to do a couple multis. I wouldn't say everybody should go crazy, but uh, yeah, I think you can spare a few multis for this banner, okay? I mean, unless you don't care about the units, like obviously, it's your stones, it's your game, and you should be summoning for the characters that you really want. But just from a power standpoint, when considering how good a lot of these units are, um, I think it's worth it. Okay, I think it's worth it. So that's just my opinion. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, actually, if you guys plan to go deep on this banner, how many stones you have prepared, and uh, who do you want the most, of course. And also, let me know how you guys feel about the crossover category. Are you guys as big um, fans of this category as I am because I think Bandai killed it. I hope they keep doing stuff like this instead of what they've done, you know, in the recent past with some of the other categories. And uh, yeah, great job, Bandai. Okay, so guys, that is today's video. That is the crossover category. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.